First reading, a reading from the second book of Kings, chapter 11, verses 1 to 4, verses 9 to 18 and 20. When Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she began to kill off the whole royal family. But Jehosheba, daughter of King Jehoram and sister of Ahaziah, took Joash his son and spirited him away along with his nurse from the bedroom where the princes were about to be slain. She concealed him from Athalia, and so he did not die. For six years he remained hidden in the temple of the Lord, while Athalia ruled the land. But in the seventh year, Jehoiada summoned the captains of the Koreans and of the guards. He had them come to him in the temple of the Lord, exacted from them a sworn commitment, and then showed them the king's son. The captains did just as Jehoiada the priest commanded, each one with his men, both those going on duty for the Sabbath and those going off duty that week, came to Jehoiada the priest. He gave the captains King David's spears and shields, which were in the temple of the Lord, and the guards with drawn weapons, lined up from the southern to the northern limit of the enclosure, surrounding the altar and the temple on the king's behalf. Then Jehoiada led out the king's son and put the crown and the insignia upon him. They proclaimed him king and anointed him, clapping their hands and shouting, Long live the king! Athalia heard the noise made by the people and appeared before them in the temple of the Lord. When she saw the king standing by the pillar, as was the custom, and the captains and trumpeters near him, with all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets, she tore her garments and cried out, Treason! Treason! Then Jehoiada the priest instructed the captains in command of the force, Bring her outside through the ranks. If anyone follows her, he added, let him die by the sword. He had given orders that she should not be slain in the temple of the Lord. She was led out forcibly to the horse gate of the royal palace, where she was put to death. Then Jehoiada made a covenant between the Lord as one party and the king and the people as the other, by which they would be the Lord's people and another covenant between the king and the people. Thereupon, all the people of the land went to the temple of Baal and demolished it. They shattered its altars and images completely and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. Jehoiada appointed a detachment for the temple of the Lord. All the people of the land rejoiced and the city was quiet. Now that Athalia had been slain with the sword at the royal palace. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Chapter 6 verses 19 to 23 Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lamp of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. We see the beauty of this world with the part of the body that is our eye. And with the eye, we have the sight 
and we have this vision to see how the beautiful the things are and when we see the beauty of the things then what happens then we have this inner craving to possess that certain thing where we would see that it is important to me or else where would I see that I need it so that I would be respected so that I would I would be beautify myself so that I would have a pleasant way of life so that I would be attractive these are the sources that within myself that I have when I see a beauty of such things and when I see this beauty when I want to possess the things then what happens then the back of the back of my mind teaches me to be rich with the things with the things storing up for myself storing up for myself that is how even today the society would great people the rich people the respectable people or the people of uh, good honor that is how today the society has graded the people but our heavenly father would not grade people according to the riches of this world according to the possessions of this world but according to the riches that he has gained upon this earth into heaven that is the grade that he makes my dear friends and this is why this is why Jesus gives us a beautiful teaching saying do not store up treasures for yourselves here on earth where moth and rust destroy it and where thieves can steal it store up treasures for yourselves with God Jesus by this teaching does not mean he does not mean that we do not need the things to live up in this world we need the things we need to live our lives comfortably if we can possess the things and to rely upon themselves to take myself high up yes you could use them but never ever that you should have in mind that storing up these treasures and the things material things on this earth would only give satisfaction to my life they would never give satisfaction to our lives because of what the beauty of these things the value of these things with the price or the price tag it has will fade away will fade away the beauty of my skin even will fade away everything of this world will fade away but but the things that i would store up in heaven to attain the heavenly bliss will never fade away so my dear friends our eyes should not alone be directed for the things of this world but our eyes would always be directed up on the heaven always reminding me that my life is not just a mere time period on this earth but it is the eternal eternal salvation and eternal rest that i would one day gain when i store up enough possession in heaven to take a beautiful place in front of God the Almighty.